Hi, this is Gil Robles. Um, this is a sort of follow-up video to the last one I did regarding the mono price, and there's a a lot of a lot has come up. Um, one of the things that I kept uh, getting uh, posts about or, or uh, feedback about was the mic. Hopefully, I resolved that issue. It wasn't. It was actually not the mic. Uh, it was the USB input that I had chosen. Uh, something was wrong. Maybe I had too many. Uh, devices in that area or whatever or but uh right now uh the mic is pretty clear as you can hear no background noises um so i got that issue resolved um and then uh some other posts uh i've had posts of uh people asking me to uh to test the the mono price on different software which i will um Two of those are, are Krita and uh, um, My Paint. Now I had My Paint before, and I think I posted uh, something about My Paint uh, at some other point. But uh, I I did get rid of it. I wasn't happy with uh, My Paint. Uh, Krita was pretty decent, and I kept Krita. And I did post a video on uh, Krita. And uh, but um, I will uh, so far. I've used this on, I've used this monitor or this uh, um, tab, drawing tablet on several different software and it has been working perfectly. I have had no complaints. Uh, I believe I posted the, the Monoprice uh, review on April 6th. I had gotten it, uh, of course, before then, before I posted the review and played around with it for a little while. So, uh, so that means I, I would have gotten it in, in late March and uh, posted the video in April. Uh, so it's been about a month and so far I have had uh, zero issues with the drivers with working with uh, other uh, uh, software. Um, there there are a bit of quirks, although I, I have to admit and just being honest and, and I'm not uh, here to sell this monitor for model price. I'm just talking about my experiences and wanting to find an inexpensive alternative to Cintiq. Um, uh, one issue I had was uh, where the pen wasn't working and I had to restart my computer. Now that has also happened to me with the Cintiq. Um, so there's the little annoying quirks with these uh, um, with these monitors, um, but nothing I couldn't get around. Uh, like I said, uh, the things that happened are nothing new. Uh, I know that with the Cintiq, with those buttons on the side, sometimes I had a problem of uh, hitting the, the button and uh, and it would resize the canvas. And uh, um, then I had to realize what I was doing. I don't have, there are no buttons on, on the side of this that do that, so I'm not worried about that. There's the, on the pen, those uh, uh the little buttons on the pen sometimes they can uh, get in the way but um, so far it, it's uh, it's the same issues I had with the Cintiq so it's nothing new it, it's been working wonderfully um, right now I'm working on a painting that I started in a sketchbook pro uh, as usual uh, but I do want to take these videos and, and venture out into different software as well, which I do use. Um, and I finished it eventually in Art Rage, you know, because my goal for uh, for everything I do was to get this kind of feel that, uh, that the painting looks like something that was done as an oil sketch or something, something that makes it look authentic or, you know, less like a digital image. And I didn't want anything too clean. Uh, it's just my style. I'm not complaining about when other people do what they do, which looks wonderful. I'm just uh, trying to do something that I feel more comfortable with. And something that, uh, because I come from a traditional art background. And uh, I, I want to get that look as if I had done this on a canvas. You know, and to, I mean, that's the reason why sometimes I use uh, different software to finish things up. It's always a good thing. You know, I, I, I'm not, uh, different people have, have, uh, posted or, or made comments on some of these videos, uh, swearing by, uh, one software or another. Um, 
which is fine. I mean, if if you you do what works for you, uh, what works for me is to explore and to do as much as I can uh, and to learn as much as I can. So I like uh, using uh, the different software that is available to me. I'm not um, swearing into one particular thing. It's pretty much how I work with traditional materials. Uh, one week I might be working with uh, gouache. Another time I'll be working with transparent watercolor or oils or, or so forth. I, I mean, I just like using different mediums and it's the same thing uh, most of or all of the good uh, digital software will have the basic things you know you have your layers and as long as you're able to control your layers and, and uh, uh, control the opacity to which is very important to me um, and uh, the different properties and layers are you know all the extra pluses good I mean that would be great uh, the brushes you get great brush sets or an ability to import, uh, you know, different brushes that either other people make or you can purchase. That also is a plus in regards to um, looking for things that um, that are in these different software that you can use. Also, your ability to save or, or export your image into a quality image so that, you know, you want to have something that you can blow up as much as possible uh sometimes you know uh like uh, and i'm not talking about vector image because obviously you can do that with vectors but um these other images which uh, are, are pixelated um you don't want to see the pixels and so you want to do more than uh the 72 uh pixels per inch or something like that uh so that was, was one of the reasons why i wasn't crazy about my paint um, I wasn't happy with the way that uh, I, I couldn't export uh, quality images. Um, but uh, then there are software that have very unique features. I think that um, the reason why I, I love Sketchbook Pro so much is because it's easy to use. Uh, and I think on the top of that list as far as ease of use would be uh, Sketchbook and Mischief. And uh, so I think this is those are great, especially to someone who's just starting to uh, get into digital art, you know. And so, you know, I think that uh, those are the two best ones as far as easy to use, you know, then there, you know, then, of course, there's uh, Photoshop, there's Illustrator. Uh, I haven't ventured too much into Illustrator, but I think I'm going to start to. Uh, only because there's some things that are just like industry standards and so it's good to know uh, including uh, I'm just uh, downloaded some uh, 3d software and I'm going to look into that because it's good to know what's uh, what those things that are standard in the industry and um, so uh, with the with digital art, so far, I have not ventured beyond what I, you know, the illustration part, the um, drawing and painting the way I usually do and getting an image uh, comparable to the stuff that I do on traditional work. Um, so I've used it for illustration. I've used it to do uh, some illustration work uh, on uh, uh, the children's magazines and such. But um, apart from that, um, you know, there, there's some things that you just want to branch out and learn. And that's what I'm going to do with this. Um, so in regards to the software, there are also software that have very unique features and unique brushes. Uh, one of those is uh, the software that I'm going to use to finish this painting off with. And that's Art Rage. Um, and I, I mean, uh, there are other software of course that uh that use that that um that brushy look that uh where you can actually see the brush strokes as if it was a uh, uh, kind of in pasto uh i like uh art rage because it's very easy to use i don't need it to be so difficult i don't want to to get that technical with it because i kind of want the same experience 
uh, I have when I hold a tool in my hand and I know how to use a brush, I know how to use a pen, I know how to use a pencil or a stick of charcoal, or whatever, I know what to do with it. I don't want to um, have to click too many buttons or, or bring down too many menus to get it to look the way I want it to look. Um, it just, to me, I, I mean, there are other people who do. I mean, if that helps you, I, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. Part of um, enjoying, part of doing the artwork is being able to enjoy it. And uh, this is the way I enjoy it, is um, basically having the control of it and not relying on anything external to control it. Or, not, or, or at least minimizing it when it comes to digital artwork. Now, um, that being said, there are a few things that I do that, you know, I don't mind employing filters and, and stuff like that. Of course, it's just part of it, but uh, I, I lessen it, um, and try to have a more hands-on approach. And again, it's not saying that anybody who does anything else is wrong. It's just the way I like to, uh, experience doing the artwork. It's just for me, it's a, a lot more fun doing it this way. Also, another software that's very unique is Rebel. Now, I don't see, it. you can get those brushy strokes with Rebel as well. And I don't see, I don't see uh, the same watercolor brush anywhere else. This is the final painting done in a Sketchbook Pro. Now, I did finish it in Art Rage, and, and I tried to record the script. Something happened with the script. Uh, so this is the final image of it on Art Rage, and this is the final image uh, together. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, on the homepage of this channel, you can also contribute. Uh, by donating to this channel. Thank you very much.